Hello dear friends, this will be short news overview from the latest weeks. Broadcasting direct from the battlefield where the black magic cunning serpents are trying to finish off the last few humans who are still capable of thinking. So it seems we are getting nearer and nearer to the pre-tribulation. These were prophecies made decades ago that um, Russia will cut the foreign gas supply before World War III and the energy crisis in Western Europe, also mentioned by Vyacheslav, seems to be something uh, very near on the horizon. For now it is just uh, high energy prices. Not so many people are yet cut off from uh, uh, really electricity, but they are openly telling us, at least here in Europe, that uh, this is to be expected in the winter days. Around that point of time, before World War III, Mary Julie Jehani uh, talked about uh, the leader of UK dying suddenly and thus triggering mayhem. She mentioned that uh, the people after that will uh, not agree how to proceed. And uh, recently they announced the death of uh, Rep Queen Elizabeth, but it doesn't seem to be the death which Mary Julie Jehani meant, because it did not really trigger mayhem, at least it hasn't done so far. Possibly a prime minister or prominent leader will suddenly depart later on, and uh, or something like that. Besides that, uh, we are obviously in the period uh, which uh, the Bible really described precisely to the last syllable wars and rumors of wars. In Kiev, uh, they are handing out uh, iodine uh, tablets to the population, preparing them for uh, nuclear times. I hope they will not uh, have to use them. Just reminding you how Vyacheslav described this uh, point of time. He said uh, nuclear war will seem more and more inevitable between East and West. And then when it becomes uh, almost unavoidable, then the US administration will offer uh, Russia to China like for free as a gift. So people will be distracted now with that story and the actual East-West uh, war will not happen yet. Interestingly enough, most people, including a big part of the alternative community, think that at least the worst is over and kind of the pandemic problem is at least not as severe, but I'm not sure if that is really so, since uh, currently there are far more excess death cases compared to the more scary pandemic time. So all of a sudden these fixed individuals uh, started uh, dying or getting sick of pretty much everything. And that's not the surprise. The surprise is uh, the rest who are still alive continue to waste their times with the most shallow and ridiculous writings one can imagine. like. The scientists are baffled. Oh, how is it possible that all these people started dropping dead or and developing sicknesses uh, which normally do not occur at their age and overall health condition? Even in the relatively better alternative media sources, I find strange mixtures of fantasy. Like, for example, quote, everyone who hears the truth about 5G shuns it and for a good reason. Well, that's mostly well-wishing. If the title would have reflected uh, the truth, it would say, most people who hear the truth about 5G bury their hand in the sand and continue using it. What is the reason? But it is very rare that uh, somebody will actually ask what is the reason, because the answer is painful. The masses uh, wouldn't mind having their health and body, and most importantly consciousness, damaged and twisted and zombified if they have to renounce even uh, simple conveniences, not yet major. And for that reason they continue complaining about 5G while using it actually. 
and uh, write this type of articles which are completely disconnected uh, from reality. The 5G network is launching uh, as planned. What to speak of 5G? Even 6G is already being implemented commercially. As with the example of uh, Deutsche Telekom, which you can see on the screen. I just uh, looked up the statistics and uh, I'm in one of the areas which is supposed to be most backwards according to European standards. 5G is uh, far behind the modern pace here, they say, and yet uh, there is 5G covering all around where I am. So, even the officials now started openly admitting that actually those uh, uh, so-called white supremacists uh, are very often their own members, uh, agents, they don't even belong to the white race. But still, this doesn't in any way hold the entire uh, program against the so-called supremacists. And despite that, the big masses don't seem to draw any conclusions from it. There were a couple of uh, waves of uh, quite strong earthquakes uh, this year, like uh, a cluster of them within the span of a week or so, and it was uh, of magnitude 6, 7, usually that much as uh, many as occurred now in one single cluster, that's the usual amount maybe per year. And the lizards uh, openly admit that uh, the scientific community has been uh, busy weaponizing weather, hurricanes and etc. since a couple of decades. So I wonder hmm, what an interesting coincidence that now all this uh, unusually strong uh, hurricane started occurring exactly at the most interesting moment. There is enough proof that at least most of the hurricanes and possibly even all are what uh, most people call man-made. I don't know how about the earthquakes, but um, if we look objectively at the situation with uh, this and few other disasters, actually all of them are man-made, even those uh, whom we call natural, because there are no natural disaster truly um, in the way we understand that term, like uh, the geophysical laws randomly uh, creating events according to some sort of uh, physical factors, so this doesn't even exist. Everything is a reflection of the accumulative thought field of uh, the inhabitants of the planet and especially the dominant species. It's not exactly that uh, people should uh, wish earthquakes and hurricanes for, for them to happen. It doesn't uh, really work much like that, only to some extent. Actually, destructive and destabilizing, deharmonized thoughts of other natures which people do not tend to connect to hurricanes or other natural disasters, they're most often the root cause of all these turmoils. And in Europe they even voted a law to protect finally the free speech, the lizard said. If one reads the actual law, of course it is all about uh, demonizing and uh, punishing the last few normal people. I'm not sure how many of the sheep uh, noticed all that. Well, no wonder if they watch uh, TV or internet for a couple of hours a day. All these spaces are full of, uh, for example, the internet is full of bots which uh, use uh, special psychology tricks to zombify the people. Nowadays I'm switching on the computer just uh, once or twice per week. And while they bamboozle the people with talk about uh, promises to live in smart cities very, very soon, they're putting in them things carried by lipid nanoparticles. 
The nanoparticles are not the main stuff, they are only a carrier, a transporter, which by the way crosses the barrier between the blood and the brain, so it can go in the brain and uh, deliver, guess what? Free courtesy gift from the satanists. So in this uh, promised smart cities, means prison cities, there will be fantastic technology, a small gadget for a preview. Pulse Secure Doorbell. It scans the person who wants to enter, even taking kind of remote blood test to get sure the biometric uh, data is uh, confirmed by the blood test. And then everything is secure. If the person is not insane, he won't be allowed to enter anywhere. In my video I have been uh, dividing the people of the future in, into marked and unmarked. But Alexander Paramonov, he uses different terms for the two groups. The marked people, he calls them simply the people. And the unmarked, he calls them just a couple of exceptions. The words which he uses for the group which is uh, confidently marching towards hell is those who believe the technocratic civilization. Normally these creatures uh, from hell are not technologically advanced. They are actually quite backwards. It is because uh, the lizards now joined uh, forces with them they are behind these uh, interfaces through which they penetrate the earthly reality. That is why you will see and hear more and more about uh, robots kind of obtaining uh, the status of uh, beings or artificial intelligence uh, starting to behave on its own. That is nothing else uh, but these uh, lizardy and hellish creatures finally crossing the barrier and uh, finally having form in our reality a kind of uh, body you may call it even through which they can manipulate our reality and participate in it which is uh, usually not uh, in their jurisdiction and to force the people to consent now they will bring uh, the humanity on its knees in an economic way now as the cold months are uh, Many people who will be saving on uh, heating to the point that uh, they will be getting sick or they, or they will lack heating at all. As far as uh, real starvation, uh, that is increasing only in the developing countries. For now in the so-called uh, rich countries, people are only lowering the standards of uh, their food in general. According to official government data, 41% in Russia are already struggling to obtain adequate amount of food and 6% um, are not eating enough and don't even have money to buy basic things like soap. Because that's the official uh, data on the ground, it could be much worse. But it is obvious that since a couple of years, there are even more um, actively working on the controlled demolition of the food supply chain. They are closing factories, they are causing uh, havoc for the uh, water transport with ships for all kinds of ridiculous reasons. They have uh, reduced the international ship cargo trade with 75% uh, already. Only 25% of it is functioning in right now. So, lack of food doesn't sound at all as far-fetched as it did a couple of years ago when I started the End Time series. And indeed, it seems uh, it will be exactly as in the prophecies that the Western so-called advanced world will be hit worse uh, than the East because I already noticed the difference in the sense that um, in the West still people continue like uh, to, to live their lives on government help. So that entire class of people, um, they will be forced to follow the Antichrist, otherwise there will be no food there. While in Eastern Europe, uh, where people who don't work 
don't get government help. What happens there actually is that um, many people already moved to the village, not because of belief in end times or any prophecies, but just they uh, felt that the cities are just getting more ugly and dangerous and restricted during turbulent times. For example, in my village there were three springs, two of them already the dried, wells are very very at very very low level they're turning off the central municipal water supply on and off uh, all the time and because it has been uh, going on for two years already every house is already somehow equipped to some extent or another to function without water and electricity at least to some extent while in the western world if they put them on a regime of restricted electricity and water most households will not uh, have even simple arrangements to wash their hands. In case that happens, a few lucky households will uh, buy off all the containers that could be converted easily to some sort of uh, do-it-yourself uh, water taps. But what about the rest? Now uh, they are in the process of uh, fashioning European Union level laws of personal electricity rationing you know now uh, they're gonna tell us uh, you can use that many hours computer and you have this and that restriction and something which was mentioned in the Vikaturia prophecies some decades ago and now I see the beginning of it happening is that um, they will want, they will implement such a system that everybody can pay for himself only for everything. For example, now if you buy some service or you order something online, you can just pay, not necessarily uh, using a, a member of your family can pay, or you can make a bank transfer or your uh, friend can make it, just mentioning the order number in the instructions of the bank transfer and it will work but I start seeing now in the beginning it's mostly for the government regulated services that they ask such identifications that only the actual person who is responsible for this can pay and they're making it uh, look like as if they care for the securities uh, oh no we are just checking who it is so that somebody else doesn't get your data for example but uh, actually they make it impossible for anybody to pay for anybody else and um, that was already explained in the Vikaturia prophecies that's because they want to isolate the normal people so that um, their relatives or friends won't be able to uh, buy anything for them. Exactly as uh, things uh, which they planned carefully uh, 5, 10 or 20 years ago, like for example when they started the climate hoaxes, the CO2 uh, hoax and all these things, they start them uh, well ahead and they fructify within decade or so now what are what they are starting with this identification is absolute cut off from uh, their financial system of the normal people Paramonov is uh, promising us that uh, actually there will be two financial systems for the godly people and for the followers of the antichrist Let's see how this develops. He said uh, he was guided by the very idea of the second system was given to him uh, by the divine. So it should work. If he is for true, uh, that's how it will be. And as a side note, he's been uh, publishing some um, notes on history information which uh, he did not get himself he just said uh, from the alternative sources I checked this seems to be closest to the truth and in the quotes he published they were referring to the time of Christ as a uh, hundred a couple of hundred years ago and to the times of Atlantis they were referring as uh, something 
in the span of 20, 25,000 years ago, which could be yet another sign that uh, the series of the survivors of Atlantis and Hyperborea could be could be catching the widest uh, range, range, the widest spectrum, and uh, relatively most correct, a very ancient uh, history research compilation. A question from a viewer in the prophecies uh, White Brotherhood is mentioned, and yet the dark sources, they also speak of uh, White Brotherhood. The question is, are they talking about the same brotherhood? Well, uh, the way they make their symbols and deities and names and pretty much everything is uh, they imitate everything good. It's also valid for their philosophies and that's the most dangerous thing because um, imitations are sometimes very good and it seems to be a waste of time and even dangerous according to the warnings of the prophecies to spend lots of time trying to find out uh, in which uh, detail exactly is the deceit uh, hidden or could be hidden instead of that nowadays it's uh, much easier to find out who or what is on which side, the dark or the light, by asking a simple question, is the path pointed by this source or person or path leading towards uh, being dependent on the government certificates or is it leading one to self-sustainable life? So, in other words, if I hear somebody talking about white brotherhood and I'm not sure on which side is uh, he or she, I can just take the conclusion of uh, what he's preaching, of his entire system of uh, beliefs and see, is this person after all advising me to stay away from the society, live in nature, eat wild things, or is he trying to trap me in a city with endless talk of no matter what, even if it is talk about uh, how and why and what are the dark forces uh, doing or, or the usual fruitless talk of how to defeat them in ways which obviously don't work because uh, since decades there are these people who are uh, writing every week if we don't wake up now we are all lost Lost will be those uh, who stay and listen to that until the end and found will be those who will run to the forest. And by far the most frequently asked question on my channel for the last couple of years, always the same question answered of course uh, a few times already. Almost all people have uh, some special needs not necessarily of bodily nature, they can be also psychological, that, that is in no way different. All the people who claim that it was forced on them until now, uh, and I have spoken with, none of them was actually forced. They all accepted it, uh, just they, didn't, they were not brave enough to be honest with themselves.